Today I'm reviewing two books from a series, Perfect Chemistry and Rules of Attraction. They are both pink on the back. Ah, pink! Okay, stop kidding. So I'm gonna read the short description on the back because it sounds so stupid. It really does. Wait a second, I'm gonna read it. At Fairfield High School on the outskirts of Chicago, everyone knows that Southsiders and Northsiders aren't exactly compatible elements. So when hat cheerleader Brittany Ellis and gang member Alex Fuentes are forced to be lab partners in chemistry class, the results are bound to be explosive. Funny, right? But neither teen is prepared for the most surprising chemical reaction of all. Love. Okay, one sentence left. Can they break through the stereotypes and misconceptions that threaten to keep them apart? Yeah. It sounds totally awful. I'm just gonna say... There's a reason why there are 116, 116 five-star reviews on Amazon and only one one-star review. And the reason is, well, the book is exactly the story that you'd expect reading the short description. Just better. So, a bad boy and a good girl, a bat and a deathly shooting inclusive. Bam! I just love the book, surprisingly. <laughs> it's just the perfect romance novel because you could describe it as a mixture of Grease and Dirty Dancing 2, just without the singing and dancing parts. If you read this, the descriptions and if you watch the book trailer, which you shouldn't do unless you really want to laugh, really, really, it's so hilarious, um, the two main characters seem to be very two-dimensional, but they aren't. I was especially surprised that Brittany, she's called Brittany, and she's the hat cheerleader, but she still didn't annoy me. It was such a surprise. <laughs> she has her problems and insecurities too, um, same goes for Alex. So Brittany and Alex were just perfect together. And the story was so exciting that you just couldn't pu put the book down. I, I couldn't. I'm still shocked about that. Um, so I even bought the second part, Rules of Attraction, the same day I finished the first part. And that's nothing I usually do. I, I never do that. I always think about buying a book like five days and then I'm deciding most of the time not to buy the book, but never mind. Um, so one thing was puzzling me though, because um, why the heck didn't they already turn that into a movie? Because that would be a huge hit, really. Because every girl would go watch this movie. Every girl would do. Plus, I love the title because it's linked to the content of the book, and Simone Alcalas always reminds the reader of that. Um, it's just that the description is so exaggerated and... Oh. Okay, let's come to the second book. Rules of Attraction Carlos Fuentes isn't happy about leaving Mexico to start the new life his older brother Alex has planned for him. Carlos liked his freedom, living life on the edge, and carving out his own path, just like Alex did. Kiera Westford doesn't talk much, preferring instead to shut the world out, and when Carlos bounces into her life, she struggles to understand him and his wild ways. Carlos is sure that Kiera thinks she's too good for him, which is just fine because he's not interested anyway, right? But when they finally open up to each other, the connection they feel shocks them both. Can they overcome their fears 
and realize that sometimes opposites really do attract. So I like that description a lot more than the one of um, perfect chemistry, but it still sounded somehow, I don't know, exaggerated and stupid, but never mind. So I thought the book would be kind of some retelling of the first book. Again, one of the Fuentes brothers is one of the main characters. Again, he is connected to a gang. Blah, blah, blah. But there is a big difference. Because Chiara is like the opposite of Brittany. She is not popular. And she doesn't care about her looks at all. And Carlos isn't interested at all in the beginning. Which puts something new to the story. I like the second part better, I have to say. Because I just liked Kiara more and I could identify better with her than with Brittany, the hat cheerleader. Um, but I guess that's a question of taste. Um, furthermore, there wasn't this whole bad thing influencing Carlos the way it influenced Alex. And that was great. The second part is also funnier. Um, the dialogues between Carlos and Kiara are really amusing, especially since both did a lot of pranks in the beginning of the book, and that was kind of sweet. But I have to say that the first part was a lot more exciting than the second one. Of course, there was a thrilling finale in Rules of Attraction, too, but you just kind of knew how it would all turn out. You knew. But never mind. Also, I like the epilogue of this book. Um, especially the last sentence. But I don't want to tell you too much, so um, just read the book. And concerning the cover, it was perfect. So whoever chose this scene, because it is a scene from the book, um, to be the cover did an amazing job, because it somehow summed up the whole book. Plus the title was chosen as good as perfect chemistry, because Kiara makes this list for rules of traction in the beginning, and yeah, they are always referring to that, and I like the title, and I like the book, and... I don't know if I'm gonna read the third book, because that sounds different from those two, but um, we'll see when it comes out. I think it's called Chain Reaction. Yeah, that's everything. Read those, even if they sound totally stupid.